As we've seen, businessmen and women are being forced to think outside the box during this pandemic. And that's especially true if that box happens to be a house for sale. Russell Kinsall continuing our live team coverage, taking a look at how buyers and sellers are trying to make this work. Right now, I'm in front of a house in Wildwood that's for sale. List price is $329,000. Selling a house during a pandemic takes some creativity, uh, takes a mask, takes some gloves. But if you thought the coronavirus had hurt the local housing market, you'd be wrong. A little bit uh, unnerving to invite people to your house at this time. Yuri Rekman and his wife know that potential buyers may want to walk through his house that just went on the market on Thursday, but they are retired and bought a house in Florida before the coronavirus situation got bad. When we planned to move, we didn't realize that uh, something like this will happen. So the timing is not the best, but uh, life continues. Rekman might be right to be nervous about strangers coming into his home, but he doesn't have to be nervous about trying to sell a house right now despite what most people might think. Well, the buyers that are out there right now, they are serious and it's a feeding frenzy. It's not slowed down a bit. Realtor Amy Prusanowski says she's done more virtual listing appointments this week than she might do normal in-person listing appointments before the pandemic. It's an active market, but agents and buyers are changing tactics, wearing masks and taking extra precautions. I'm using a gloved hand to open the lockbox and to open any doors, and I'm asking my clients not to touch anything. In St. Louis City and County combined in March, 1,425 homes were sold. That's a 1.3% increase over last Last year, and the median home price was up 11% over last year. Prusinowski says homes are selling and getting multiple offers, but the times require buyers to plan on spending less time touring homes. And I think now more than ever, people need to be conscious and do a lot of online researching first, do the drive by, make sure that they even like it from the outside before they make someone leave their home. Now, probably the biggest impact is that there are fewer homes on the market for sale right now, but everybody is really curiously waiting for the April sales numbers. They say that really will tell them what the pandemic's impact has been here on the housing market. Live in Wildwood, Russell Kinsall, News 4.